what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today this is gonna be another complete flashing guide kind of version 2 for the Redmi Note 7 Pro because I'm gonna flash the latest July 2020 build of the Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and I'm gonna be showing you almost everything that I can so let's begin so here as you can see I'm gonna be flashing this 7th July 2020 build of the Evolution X version 4.5 VR this is the official build again so let me just boot into the recovery here as you can see this is the orange fox version r10.1 underscore 3 the latest orange fox recovery as of right now as a stable orange fox recovery there is also a beta one which i'll not recommend kind of right now but let me show you how can we flash the latest evolution x rom with this recovery now let's assume you're coming from miui so what do you do you first install this orange fox recovery and if you ask me how to do that here is a card for you can watch that video till i flash the orange fox recovery completely so do watch that video if you don't know how to flash the orange fox recovery and again this i'm talking about when you are coming from stock miui so this method will be for that purpose only so right now i'm assuming that you just flash the orange fox recovery over here so the first thing that you do is you go to menu then go to manage partition then select data from here and tap right then click on format data and over here you have to type yes and if you hit right from here it will format the storage which i'm not gonna do right now because i was on a custom rom that is why i'm not doing that so once you have done formatting just reboot the recovery once again go to menu then reboot and just click on this recovery it will reboot your recovery once you have rebooted your recovery go to menu again then go to settings then ota and from here make sure you have enabled this disable force encryption if you have enabled this your storage will be like decrypted once you turn this on and flash a rom it will keep your storage decrypted which means it won't ask you for a password whenever you are booting into the twrp recovery or orange box recovery till now once you have done all of those just flash the rom file and it will boot fine it should boot fine actually so yeah that's how you flash from miui and also make sure you have a backup of your whole internal storage to a pc or somewhere because things might go wrong and you may lose your data so right now i'm gonna talk about if you are coming from a custom rom how do you flash another custom rom so over here first thing we need to go to wipe and make sure you have the latest firmware by the way if you do not have the latest firmware you need to flash it for some roms you can just try flashing the rom and if you see error 7 then only you need to flash the firmware i will link the latest china beta firmware in the description box below do use that and that firmware should work fine and right now i'm just gonna select dalvi cache system and data over here i'm selecting these four things because i don't need to wipe the vendor because i'm already on the latest firmware if you are not already on the latest firmware you can select the vendor from here you can wipe that and then you need to flash the latest firmware i'm not gonna flash a firmware that is why i'm not selecting vendor so i'm just swiping to wipe now the wiping is done so i'll just go home then go to my download folder and as you can see here we have our rom file and we don't need to flash any fcrypt disabler because we have that option enabled so i'll just select the rom file and i have this reboot after installation selected so it will reboot automatically after flashing the rom of course so right now i'll just swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being and at this point after flashing if you see error 7 again make sure to flash the firmware then flash the rom file it is not showing me any errors because i was already on the latest firmware and this rom does include gapps so i don't need to flash gapps separately some roms do but this evolution x version 4.5 or any other evolution x version for that matter does not need a separate gapps so my storage was already decrypted and as you can see it is booting into the system and the flashing is almost done shows me the redmi logo so we have pretty much successfully flashed the Evolution X version 4.5 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So this is how you do it. And at this point, if it boots back to the recovery or something, make sure to format the data once. You just go to menu, manage partition and stuff, then select data and format data from there, then reboot, no need to wipe anything. If it reboots back to the recovery right now from this point. So right now I'm just gonna set up the ROM and use it and maybe I'll do a full review of the Evolution X version 4.5 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro soon. So stay tuned for that. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you want them to know about flashing the Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro or flashing any other ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So that pretty much wraps up this video. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, please subscribe and hit the like button if you love this video. Bye bye now.